Hey, welcome back. Organizations understand that risk can come from insiders like contractors or even employees. There is always a risk that people might share information with competitors after leaving the company. Organizations need to ensure that they are protected from those kinds of risk. In this lesson, you will learn about how Microsoft 365 capabilities like insider risk management, communication compliance, information barriers, privileged identity management, and customer logbox that can help you protect your organization. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Insider risk management helps organizations to identify, investigate, and addresses internal risk. With focused policy templates, comprehensive activity signaling across Microsoft 365, and a flexible workflow, organizations can take advantage of actionable insights to help identify and resolve risky behavior quickly. Identifying and resolving internal risk activities and compliance issue with the insider risk management in Microsoft 365 is achieved using the following workflow. It starts with understanding policies. Insider risk management policies are created using predefined templates and policy conditions that define what risk indicators are examined in Microsoft 365 feature areas. The next one is alerts. Alerts are automatically generated by risk indicators that match policy conditions and are displayed in the alerts dashboard. The next one is triage. New activities that need investigation automatically generate alerts that are assigned a need review status. Reviewers in the organization can quickly identify these alerts and scroll through each of these to evaluate and triage. The next stage is investigation. Cases are created for alerts that require deeper review and investigation for the details and circumstances around the policy match. The finally, action. After cases are investigated, Reviewers can quickly act to resolve the case or collaborate with other risk stakeholders in the organization. Let's understand the communication compliance. Communication compliance in Microsoft 365 Compliance Center helps minimize communication risk by enabling organization to detect, capture, and take remediation actions for inappropriate messages. Identifying and resolving compliance issue with communication compliance in Microsoft 365 uses the following workflow. It starts with configure. In this step, admins identify compliance requirements and configure applicable communication compliance policies. The next step is investigate. This is where admins look deeper into the issues detected when matching your communication compliance policies. The next stage is remediate. This is where you will remediate communications compliance issue. And finally, monitor. Keeping track and managing compliance issues identified by communication compliance policies and the entire workflow process. So what are information barriers? Information barriers are policies that admins can configure to prevent individuals or group from communicating with each other. When information barrier policies are in place, people who shouldn't communicate with other specific users can't find, select, chat, or call those users. With information barriers, checks are in place to prevent unauthorized communication. In Microsoft Teams, information barrier policies determine and prevent the following kind of unauthorized communications. Let us understand privileged access management. Privileged access management allows granular access control over privileged admin tasks in Microsoft 365. It can help protect organizations from breaches that use existing privileged admin accounts with standing access to sensitive data or access to critical configuration settings. Enabling privileged access management in Microsoft 365 allows organizations to operate with zero standing access. This means that any user who needs privileged access 
must request permission for access and will receive only the level of access they need just when they need it and with just enough access to perform the job at hand. The last topic is the customer lockbox. Occasionally, an organization might need Microsoft engineers' help to help troubleshoot and fix reported issues. Usually, issues are fixed through extensive telemetry and debugging tools Microsoft has in place for its services. However, some cases require a Microsoft engineer to access the organization's content to determine the root cause and fix the issue. Customer Logbox ensures that Microsoft can't access the content to perform a service operations without explicit approval. And the customer lockbox brings the organization into the approval workflow for requests to access their content. Because customer lockbox follows a formal approval for access control, a common question is how this capability relates to privileged access management. Customer lockbox allows a level of access control for organizations when Microsoft accesses this data. Privileged access management allows granular access control within an organization for all Microsoft 365 privileged tasks. There are various capabilities available from Microsoft 365 to help protect organization from insider risk. We have completed the lecture part of SC900 course. I hope the information provided was helpful. In the next episode, we will go through a few questions and answers to help you prepare for your actual exam. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.